What if your car didn't just drive, but flew? And no, I'm not talking about a sci-fi movie scene or a dream from the Jetsons. I'm talking about the Leo Coupe, a real fully electric flying car that just made its debut, and it might be the coolest thing 2025 has given us yet. This thing looks like a luxury hypercar mated with a spaceship. It fits in your garage. It flies straight up like a drone. It goes 250 miles per hour and get this, it's built by two guys who decided during lockdown that it was finally time for flying cars to stop being fantasy. Let's break down how the Leo Coupe just changed the future of personal flight. First, who's behind this wild machine? Meet Pete Batar and Carlos Salaf. Pete's the guy behind Electric Jet Aircraft, a company building actual jetpacks. Carlos, a former Mazda designer who left to chase futuristic vehicle dreams. These two met in 2020 right when the world was upside down and said, what if we built a car that could actually fly? Not a drone, not a helicopter, but something you'd want to own. So they launched Leo Flight. The goal? Build an electric flying car that's as easy to use as a Tesla and as exciting as a fighter jet. Let's talk about the look. Because it doesn't just fly, it turns heads. The Leo Coupe doesn't have exposed rotors like a drone. Nope, its jets are hidden inside the wings for safety and that clean, futuristic look. It opens with gullwing doors and seats three. Yeah, you and two friends can go airborne. There's even a floating pilot seat that feels like you're riding on air. It fits inside a two-car garage. It's just 10 feet by 20 feet, and that's smaller than some pickup trucks. And it looks sleek enough to belong on the set of a Marvel movie. This is where it gets wild. The Leo Coupe is powered by 100 tiny electric jet turbines. Let that sink in. Not fans, not propellers, jets. That's what lets it take off vertically, like a helicopter, and then shoot forward at jet speed. You're not dealing with some experimental prototype here. This thing uses tech that came straight from a DARPA-backed project. It's also got a smart control system, semi-autonomous flight features, and full fly-by-wire steering. In short, you fly it more like a game controller than a plane. Here's what it can do. Top speed, 250 miles per hour. Cruising speed, 200 miles per hour. Range, about 250 miles. Flight time, over one hour per charge. Charging works with standard EV home or fast chargers. Redundancy, 100 jets equals insane safety if one or two fail. This isn't just some show-off machine, it's built to actually work. It's quiet, it doesn't pollute, and it flies clean using only electricity. All right, you're thinking, cool, but what happens if something goes wrong in the air? They've got that covered. The Leo Coupe has layers of backup systems. It's got emergency airbag systems, auto takeoff and landing, auto stabilization, emergency glide mode, a ballistic parachute. Yes, the whole thing can parachute down. Even emergency water landing capability. This is probably one of the safest flying vehicles ever designed for personal use. Now, let's talk about who this is really made for. Leo Coupe isn't just for rich tech bros. It's being designed for private owners. Yes, your neighbors might soon fly to the grocery store. Air taxis, emergency responders, remote workers in hard to reach areas, tourism companies, and of course, thrill seekers. Imagine flying out of your driveway, skipping every single traffic light, zooming over a mountain range instead of driving around it. Yeah, it's that kind of future. Let's get into what stage they're actually at. The Leo team already built three prototypes in under six months. One of them, the Arc Spear drone, hit 100 miles per hour in flight tests. That wasn't just a proof of concept. It was a working model used to test flight control. Their newest version, the LX-1, is a full-size manned prototype with working forward and vertical jets. Flight testing is happening right now. The first real production version expected in 2027. Why does this matter? Because Leo Coupe isn't just a flying toy. It's part of a much bigger movement, one where air traffic becomes normal, where people take off from rooftops, where flying cars are as common as electric scooters. We're finally getting vehicles that don't need runways, that can land in your backyard. 
That lets cities breathe instead of clogging roads with more traffic. And the best part? Leo Coop is being built by dreamers, real people, not mega corps, just a designer and a jetpack builder who said, why not? So what do you think? Would you hop in and fly the Leo Coupe if it was parked in your driveway? Would you swap your car for a flying one? Because here's the thing, that the future isn't coming someday. The future just landed. Hit like if you want to ride one. Subscribe Technology X AI if you're ready to see more real-life flying tech. And drop a comment. Which one's crazier? A flying car that fits in your garage or the fact it's coming by 2027? This is just the beginning. See you in the sky.